Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I go about enhancing eyes in Lightroom. For this demonstration, we're going to use this image of my son Joe that I took a few years ago. I already did some basic processing to it, as you could see. Now I'm ready to enhance and fix problems with his eyes. And I say fix problems because if I zoom in on this eye, you can see there's a kind of unsightly blood vessel showing there. So I want to get rid of that first. So the way I go about doing this is I'll zoom into the eye like I just did, and I'll open up the spot removal tool. And I want to be in heal mode, and I usually keep feathering around 50, so somewhere in the middle and opacity at 100%. Then I'll resize the brush so it's just a little bigger than the blood vessel, and I won't try to do the entire like blood vessel at once. I'll do it in pieces like this. So I'll come in and try to do just parts of it like that. Now I need to get in like in over here and you see how I can't because the overlay from the previous uh, spot removal is in the way. Then what you could do is hit the H key on your keyboard and it will hide those overlays and then you'll be able to come in here and you'll be able to do what I'm doing now. Just go slow. This is probably the most difficult part of this entire process, uh, this part right here. And I'm not concerned with getting every single blood vessel out of here, just as much as I can. Make it look a lot better. And I think that looks pretty good. There's before and there's after. And you can see there's still some real tiny ones in there. But once you're zoomed out, you really won't notice those that much. So that's fine. So I'm done with the blood vessel removal. Now I'll go to enhancing the eyes. And to do that, I'm going to use a mask, specifically a brush. And I do two different things. What I do first is I kind of brighten the entire eye. So I'll do that on its own mask. So I have the brush open. Again, feathering somewhere 40, 50, 60 in there somewhere. Flow and density at 100 and do not use auto mask and then I'll come in and you know all the sliders are reset automatically and I'll leave them reset and I'll come in here and I'll just brush the entire inside of the eye here or the eye I should say on both eyes don't worry if you make a mistake because we could fix it later we could erase where we accidentally brushed later but I'll just come in and carefully do this and then I'll come in and I'll take the exposure slider and I'll just push that to the up just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. You don't want to like give them glowing eyes. You just want to brighten them up just slightly, like even a quarter of a stop, 0.26, something like that. So that's fine. Now I want to enhance the irises, irises. So I'll create a new mask, a new brush. Now there is actually a preset for this. If you go to where it says effect, this drop down. And if you go down toward the bottom, you'll see Iris Enhance. If you click on that, it will automatically move the exposure, texture, and clarity sliders, and the saturation slider as well. And again, I'll keep the same uh, brush settings in that the feathering in this case is 40% flow and density at 100, and I do not use auto mask. Now it may help to zoom in. To zoom in while the masking is open, hold in the space bar, and then you could zoom in. And then you could get a brush that fits. You could use, I'm using, I'm just sliding my finger on my Apple Magic Mouse. If you have a mouse with a center click wheel, you could use that. Or you could use the bracket keys, left bracket key smaller, right bracket key larger. And of course, there is a slider over here to affect the size of the brush. Now you could come in and brush. And because I don't have the uh, actual masking showing, I really can't see. So I could show, or the overlay, I should see. Say, so I could turn overlay on. So I could see exactly where I'm brushing. Get a smaller brush maybe for in, over in there a little bit. So like that, turn the overlay off. Now it may be difficult to see if I did anything. So there's before and there's after. So you can see now if you want to uh, enhance it a little more, just click right on it again so it's active. You could hover over it to make sure you're actually clicked on the correct mask. And then come in and you could, let's say, maybe add a bit more clarity. Something like that I think looks pretty good. Now I want to do the other eye, so I'm going to hold the space bar in and then just drag this over to this side. Now I shot this, um, I believe, at 
1.4, yeah, 1.4. So it was wide open lens. So you could see this eye is significantly blurry. So compared to the other eye. And again, I'm going to turn on the show overlay so I could see where I'm, I'm painting a little more readily. And get in there, get a smaller brush up in here. Now the settings were already set and I'm using the same exact mask. So the, so the, uh, the uh, adjustments got applied. There's before and there's after. I'll zoom back out. I'll hold in the space bar and click and zoom. And there's our entire adjustment as far as the iris and whitening of the eye is concerned. There's before and there's after. Now that's a relatively subtle adjustment, maybe just beyond subtle to, I maybe you could characterize it as my normal adjustment, what I would do when I enhance, enhance someone's eyes. Some people like to enhance them more, and of course you could do that. Just click on the appropriate mask, for example, if you want to enhance the irises more, click on that mask so it's active. And you could come in and let's say add texture as well. You might want to add more saturation. Whatever floats your boat, you could do at this point. Um, personally, I like to just keep it realistic. Uh, my son Joe does have, you know, uh, as my wife says, pretty blue eyes. So I don't want to misrepresent what his eyes actually look like. I just want to enhance them as though this portrait was taken with perfect lighting conditions that allow his eyes to be seen and noticeable. So that's it. That's how I go about adjusting and enhancing eyes in Lightroom. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.